Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on chocolate squares. You can see in the picture here that a dark chocolate square is what I'm focusing on, but I wanted to show you what my written tutorials look like. This is the first page. I have um, a large picture, of course, and then I have the list of materials. And then I have some notes that I go step by step and actually show you how I'm doing it. I wanted to show you this real quick. The link to my written tutorials are going to be in the description of my food tutorials. So there we go. I just wanted to show you that. Now um, I'm going to get a little bit closer here. As you can see, there's a few different colors. The um, hot pink one, it looks very bright pink here. It's a lot softer pink in person. I'm talking about this one right here. It's um, supposed to be like a cherry flavored chocolate. Then we have strawberry. We have regular white chocolate. Then we have a cookies and cream chocolate. I have the recipes for white chocolate, strawberry, and cherry in the tutorial itself on the back page as little bonus um, recipes. And the white chocolate with the cookies and cream that is actually um, the white chocolate mixture but I just add the tiny brown micro beads. From here we're going to begin. This is super easy so I figured I'd show you about those uh, those written tutorials just in case you didn't notice that I have them in the description area. You might not necessarily need them but they're, they're kind of nice and sometimes I have bonus recipes on the bottom. For my dark chocolate, I use Primo Burnt Umber. I think it's a really nice, rich, dark chocolate color. So you condition it. And once it's conditioned, you roll it out with a pasta roller or your clay roller. Either way, uh, the thickness I have is about three millimeters thick. And then from here, I'm kind of eyeballing it right now, but if you... Um, if you look in my written tutorial, I will have that it is five-eighths of an inch. You can make it really however big you want or however small you want. Um, but basically what we are doing here is making little squares. So I trim off the edge, make little squares. They don't have to be absolutely perfect because you'll be trimming the edges anyway when you're all done. But as you can see here, that little strip was enough to make five different chocolate squares. So here we go. It's kind of harder to show on the video because you're not exactly one like straight over bird's eye view, but what I'm doing is I'm going halfway between the top and the bottom. And this right here is a double pointed knitting needle. You can find them in the yarn section of your craft store. These ones come in a little um, a little box that has different size double pointed needles. I'm using the red ones. Can't remember what size it is right now, but there's different colors. You can always use other things too. Um, if you have smooth toothpicks or metal toothpicks. So there we go. There's the indent down the center. Then I try to get as close to the center as I can the other way. I lift from there. If you get fingerprints you could just kind of smooth it. I don't think I got fingerprints on there but I just wanted to show you. Then I go ahead and I start going. When you are doing this um, to get the cleanest chocolate square possible, you'll want to do this straight over your piece. I'm kind of far back from it. So I can show you this tutorial. But if you're straight over it, you can get perfect squares on either side. So we lift flip it around again. Like I said, this is super, super easy. And I already had the written tutorial formed for 
well over a year, so I decided that I'd just put this in today. And here we go. So that's it. Now, if you notice that um, one set is a little bit more rectangular than perfect square, you could just go in a little bit further and press, press again. That works out just fine because once you're at this point, you trim away the excess edges. I'll do that at the far side so you can see better. But I try trim right in the middle. Because you want that downward slope that chocolate bars usually have. And I'm forming this more off of a baking chocolate than an actual, say, chocolate bar, like a candy bar. So that's how I make them. They were originally made to go with my s'more charm collection. So I have chocolate squares, I have marshmallows, I have a full s'more, and I have graham crackers as well. So this is my s'more bracelet. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but there are the recipes for these three in there. Remember, this one is the right chocolate recipe, but you just add the micro beads. You could get the micro beads at the craft store as well. They're a really dark chocolate brown. You don't want black. And the the actual recipe that I have in the written tutorial for the white chocolate and for the colored chocolates have translucent in it, that really does help. For instance, if you are wanting to have strawberry bits instead and maybe the strawberry one for a little bit of add added color, you could add some of the dark pink micro beads, um, just a few and mix them in and they would show up because there's some translucent in the mix. Anyhow, uh, thank you for joining me. Remember to um, give me some likes and to subscribe if you are wanting to see more food tutorials. I'm also doing knitting tutorials and the tutorials I get, um, the most attention on, I will try to work on those faster. So let me know what you like, what you'd like to see more of, if there's anything that you'd like to see in the video tutorials. Like if you want me to mention all the materials in the tutorial itself, or if it's fine just having it in the written tutorial, you can print up the written tutorial um, just the way that it's shown. And the good thing about these uh, written tutorials is I'm doing them on Google Docs and publishing to them to the web. So if I ever add more recipes or I add smaller sizes like dollhouse scale, um, those are updated. So if I've made updates to them, since you first watched the video, you'll get a ha uh, chance to uh, to see the new things that I've added just by clicking on the link. So thank you for joining me. Until next time, bye.